Greetings, YouTube. Dr. Paul Offit is the author of a new book, printed in 2008, entitled Autism's False Prophets, Bad Science, Risky Medicine, and the Search for a Cure. As you can well imagine, this book has enraged the anti-vaxxers. It's traditional after an author has a new book to do a book tour. You go from city to city and you promote your book in the hopes of generating sales. Dr. Offit is not, did not do a book tour for his because he received death threats. Now let me make this clear. This is a pediatrician, a researcher, who has been key a member of a team that created a vaccine and an expert on the topic. He has done countless good works that have helped to save thousands of lives and prevent immeasurable suffering. And yet, he is receiving death threats. This is the kind of man that we should be lauding as the best of the best, as the kind of people that we should all look up to, not sports figures, not actors, but people that actually make positive changes in the world. And yet, because of the absolute tsunami of ignorance, calling itself the anti-vaxxer movement, this man is receiving death threats. As you can imagine from the tone of my video so far, I am a proponent of vaccines. I consider vaccination to be one of the truly great medical breakthroughs in the entire history of our species. It ranks up there with the germ theory of disease and antibacterial drugs, antibiotics, and things like that. Stem cells will be the next step, and possibly even xenotransplantation. But vaccination really does make the top three in my book. You know how many people's lives have been improved by vaccination? I myself receive vaccines on a regular basis. As a diabetic, I have a difficult time fighting off infections. So my doctor wants me to have vaccines when they become available. And when I see my doctor next month, I will be getting the latest flu vaccine. I don't know if I'll be able to have uh, access to an H1N1 vaccine yet. There may not be enough in the state. I may have to do that in later, later in the year. Last year I took the vaccine for the flu and it worked beautifully. My wife didn't take the vaccine and she spent a week lying on the sofa in absolute agony. I, however, had the vaccine, didn't get a sniffle. I felt really bad for my wife. I did everything I could to make her feel better. but. She didn't get the vaccine because she hadn't contacted her doctor about getting one. I'm going to see if I can convince her to get one this year, because I really don't want to have to see her and suffer like that again. Now, I take this issue very seriously. I consider a parent that does not vaccinate their child, particularly if they're going against a doctor's um, suggestion, to be committing medical negligence a form of child abuse. And these aren't just empty words that I'm saying here. I have a dear friend, someone who I love, and I discovered he wasn't going to vaccinate his child. And I broke off all, all contact with him. I just had to walk away. I had known him for almost two decades. He's one of my favorite people in all the world. But what I, he was doing was child abuse in my mind. It was worthy of a criminal act. But society doesn't say that it's bad enough. There are no charges for that. I mean, if someone beats a kid, you can call the police. But for some strange reason, we allow parents to, to deny their children basic medical services, and it's okay. And the truly horrible thing is is that his child is now a danger to other people. Because even if his child doesn't suffer from the, a disease it, it, it himself that he could have been vaccinated against, he can become a carrier. And he can take that disease into communities that don't have the opportunities to get vaccine, vaccines. Expose people who are on immun, uh, immuno, uh, immunity suppressing drugs because of cancer or organ transplants or they come from a country where vaccinations 
are not available because of cost. And this child now becomes a walking, talking time bomb, undermining the entire science of vaccination, putting all of us at risk, giving a disease a place to harbor and wait until it can be until it can be encountered with a person that doesn't have the right vaccine. To my mind, that's criminal. And though I love them, and I miss them, I can't abide by that. I can't endorse it. I don't say that the loss of my friend Jacob was a telling blow, but it was the only gesture I could make. It saddened me when I made it, it saddens me now. But until he decides to enter the 21st century and hook up with actual science. I can't be his friend. And I also can't understand anti-vaxxers giving death threats to a man that has saved thousands of lives.